This episode is all about releasing and showing you our new Chrome extension. As you can see, we have some higher breakpoints applied to the project. So down here with the extension ex installed, we'll see the new FS tab. And when I go click that, I have a whole new toolkit of great things I can do in Webflow. Inside the functional tab, I have my breakpoints, but I want to actually remove this 1280. And you know what? I'll remove the 1440 also. So we are now automatically reloaded. And when this shows up, we will be breakpointless. Wow, check that out. So just to make sure that... <laughs> this is the second feature that's launching with the extension launch, and that's going to be 301 bulk redirects. So what we have done is added a brand new button to site settings. This is the bulk import button. So when I go to bulk import, we'll see a CSV upload and when I go drag this in, it's going to show the old path and the new path. When I go and upload this, it's going to check each one and confirm that this is going to be properly added to site settings. So you can see here, we have 10 out of 10 successful, zero out of 10 failed. And let's now get into next week. Let's start here with color swatches. This one is so, so useful. I'm going to click on colors here and you can see this is just an absolute eyesore. So we can go into color swatches and I can now go and organize my blues. Maybe I want black up here on top. And we have a newly reordered color swatch. There we go. What if a project is owned by two people? One person has the extension set up, the other one doesn't. What would happen with the person that does not have the extension installed? So this, again, it's not storing a setting that when I approach the site, these settings are applied to my Webflow instance. So if somebody else has another site here and they don't have the browser extension applied and you make changes or reorganize something and they open the site, as long as you've saved that instance, this is just going to apply across the board. 